It wasn't long ago that Fort Park was adding big new roller coasters every few years, but since the swarm back in 2012, not much at all has been added. Today, I'll be talking all about the future of Fort Park and what rides I'd like to see go there and what rides are likely to be added in the years to come. Before we get into today's video, I'd like to say a massive thank you to everyone for watching today and for all the support that there's been on the channel lately. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please do subscribe and you'll also see the playlist to more videos of this series at the end screen of the video. I've got lots planned for over the coming months, including a Q&A, so please leave any questions you do have in the comments or on my social pages. The links to those and the shop and blog are in the description. Anyway, let's just get straight into it. At some point, the time will come for Fort Park to get a new roller coaster. I think there's every chance that it will go where Saw the Ride currently is, as I'm not convinced that that ride has a very long future ahead of it. Now you may or may not know that a wooden coaster was considered for the Saw site before the Eurofighter that we see today ended up being built, and since Wickham and Alton Towers was such a success, a Woody at Fort Park would be absolutely amazing. I could see it being on a bigger scale to Wicker Man and would probably be on a similar scale to Renegade at Valley Fair in Minnesota, with a height of around 100 feet tall, a length of 3000 feet and hopefully one of those really unique bank drops and a focus on airtime. It would be great if it took a Canadian theme and if the park converted Old Town back into Canada Creek, but if that doesn't happen a Mystic Timber style design would be good as well. Angry Birds Land is where Fort Park should look at next and I think it's time that it goes to be honest. The area has always been a bit odd and it splits Amity in two and it's now basically just a drop tower and some dodgems with a few bits of theming on them. I don't think that the game itself is anywhere near as popular as it once was and um, I mean I've not played it in years and I think that's the same for most people. If the Angry Birds theme does get dropped I'd keep the dodgems where they are, but I would look at removing Detonator and hopefully selling it on to another UK theme park and this takes me on to the next thing perfectly. Now I know that Merlin doesn't usually like adding flat rides, but I do think that a really tall Starflyer or a Falcon's Fury style drop tower, they actually do stand a chance of being built because they're rides that stand out on their own and they're not just small supporting rides. Obviously both a Starflyer and a drop tower would be amazing, but I'd prefer a drop tower if there's only to be one and I'd make it well over 200 feet tall so it'd be the tallest ride in the park and I'd get it from Intamin and have the same seats that are on Falcon's Fury and the drop tower that we've got over at Gronerlund as well where they tilt down so you're facing the ground when you reach the top. It could go in the Lost City area near Colossus and will give great views over the lake and the rest of the theme park. Walking Dead ride will probably stick around for a few more years but when the IP eventually does get dropped I think that the coaster should stay where it is and it should go back to being X like it was before. They could even run it backwards again like they did a while back and call it X No Way Out. The last thing that I want to talk about is the current site of the water park. It's in a really weird position and I can't imagine that it's very popular or gets used that much and the only time it's been used for an event was for that Love Island thing that they did a few years ago. I'd rip it out and put in a new water ride, a Mac Power Splash. It would be a great entry ride into the park and you could even walk underneath the big airtime hill and there could still even be an event space created where the splashdown lake would be. It would be a worthy replacement of Logger's Leap and would fit again into the Lost City area very well and would be a nice addition to the park skyline. Now I do know what you're all thinking though and that is what about Tidal Wave. Well, they could both exist together but it would likely be removed as it would be a very similar ride but I'm talking long into the future here and I can't see Tidal Wave going anywhere anytime soon. Whether it's a Vekoma or Intamin launch coaster, a Mac Mega Coaster or an RMC Raptor, taking Tidal Wave out one day long into the future would open a big space for a massive new ride in 10 to 15 years time. The only other thing before we wrap things up is a hotel on the other side of the lake is very likely in the next few years in my opinion. Thank you very much for watching today guys and I hope you did enjoy it. I know most of you watching today haven't subscribed yet to the YouTube channel so please do if you'd like to see more videos like this, it really does mean a lot. The links to my website, shop and social pages are all in the description so please do have a look. I'll see you in the next video which will be out very soon. Have a great day, bye now.